this is Barrister Billy, and on this edition of Barrister Eats, I'm going to share with you a very simple fruit cobbler recipe. You might be wondering why I called it a fruit cobbler instead of a specific cobbler, like a peach or apple, cherry, whatever you want. It's because we're going to use a canned fruit pie filling. Uh, any fruit will work with that. You can also make this with fresh fruit. For example, when peach season is in its height, we will buy 25 to 50 pounds of peaches and we will use some of those to make a cobbler with. If you're using fresh fruit, two cups of diced fruit mixed with one cup of sugar and one cup of water. Bring that to a bowl on the stove, let it simmer for about 10 minutes or so until all of the sugar is dissolved and you can use that. If you don't have fresh fruit, canned fruit filling will work easily. We also will need something to bake it in. Normally we use two different options around here. One is a 11 by 7 glass dish. The other option that sometimes we use, particularly if I'm concerned about the presentation or I just want it to look pretty, is a cast iron skillet. This one looks to be about maybe nine and a half, ten inches. Again, it is perfect uh, for this particular size recipe and it works very well. Now we're going to go ahead and get started before I show you the ingredients because very simple. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take a stick of butter and I am going to put it in my cast iron skillet here. And I'm going to throw it in the oven, and while the oven is preheating to the temperature we need to bake our cobbler at, it is going to melt the butter. So we're going to throw it in the oven, we're going to turn the oven to 350, and we're going to let the butter start melting while we prepare the rest of the cobbler. Alright, here's our ingredient list for the cobbler. We have one cup of sugar, three-fourths cup of self-rising flour, three-fourths cup of whole milk, and then our canned pie filling, which in this case is going to be blueberry. Now what we will do is very simple, and this is very important, the only time that you stir the ingredients is when you're mixing together this mixture, which becomes the crust. So we've added our flour, we've added our sugar, there's our milk, and then we're going to stir that up until it is a smooth consistency. All right, we've got our cobbler all assembled and we have put it in the oven. The oven was preheated to 350 degrees. I set the timer at 30 minutes. It's going to take somewhere between 30 and 45 minutes for this cobbler to set up. Sometimes it may take a little bit more than 45 minutes. All that time is going to depend on your oven as well as the weather conditions and some other things to that. But somewhere between 30 and 45 minutes is typically what it takes. You should check it at 30. Uh, don't be worried if it's, it's taking a little bit longer or even if you have to leave it in there. Uh, five, ten minutes after that 45 minute time period has elapsed. What we're looking for is the crust which will rise to the top to be a nice golden brown, that golden brown deliciousness that we're looking for, and for the middle of the cobbler to be set. So we're going to let this cook and then we'll come back and check it in about 30 minutes and then uh, see where we are, whether it's done or not. It was right at 42 minutes today to cook this delicious cobbler. You see that it is a nice golden brown. See a little bit of the fruit coming through. Now we're just going to let this uh, sit for a little bit, cool off, and then we will enjoy with maybe some vanilla ice cream or some Cool Whip. So thanks for joining us on this episode of Barrister Eats with the Fruit Cobbler. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. hope you try it. Remember to click that subscribe button and follow us on Instagram at Barrister Eats. And it's good stuff.